ladybugs are out everywhere today. Beautiful day here. Uh, old, what do they call it? Old uh, Bruce Kelly, above old Bruce Kelly, little Cypress area. Holding up for some stuff. But the captain's been working on this old light. He's got it, he's getting the, it had a bunch of paint on it. So he's getting the brass. He, he took it apart and he's going to get all that brass shined up and everything on that old light. But see the back, it's got that real pretty brass on it. But he took the mechanisms apart and got those, got the paint off of them. And yeah, man, it's gonna look good. He's gonna, you know, get all this, re redo all that stuff too. Make it real pretty. Oh, old, old, uh, yeah, what do they call it? Carlisle Fitch. Carlisle Bench. Yeah. Anyway, kind of neat. Old equipment on these boats, man. This boat was built in the 70s. I think it was mid 70s. Uh, mid 70s era Viking boat. The Bi Viking uh, hull style uh, of these gray boat boats. Anyway. Beautiful day. Quiet, nice. See, I get a little downtown sometimes. You get to hold up for stuff, traffic, and uh, you know, this time river conditions, traffic. Well, this time holding up for unspecified reasons, and we have uh, a nice day to do it too. A real nice day. Anyway, we've been hearing a lot of reports. Coast Guard to the report of shoveling in the vicinity of mile mark 791, Lower Mississippi River, all mariners, all bodies, transfer the area of caution. It's Coast Guard West Coast Island. But a uh, nice day. We are four, four wide and uh, uh, six long right now. Yeah, four wide and six long. All empties. Headed north. We've been dropping as we go. Uh, dropping as we go. Beautiful day. Beautiful boat. You can see the river, man. It's down to where, where we're at the stage now. I think it's around minus seven. It's We're not like it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it, it got down about three foot or so lower than what it is now. This, is, this would be considered extreme low water kind of normally uh, you know what i mean like year to year uh, we get around I, i'm going by memphis gauge because it's the one i usually refer to when i'm working on the lower mississippi to give me just a general idea what the river is doing i'll look at memphis you know if i hadn't seen river stages in a while uh, i'll look at memphis gauge it kind of gives me I, I i don't know what why i do but it gives me an idea what the river is doing i can look at that stage and kind of have a mental picture in my head of what the river looks like um, but Memphis getting about minus five, that's a normal, you know, year to year, man. Uh, as far as throughout my career, you know, during the, during the fall, you'd see that you'd see a minus five down again. Uh, you know, where I think we're around minus seven now and I've seen that, you know, it'd get around minus seven when it got around minus nine and 10 is when it was like, that's record levels. So, uh, yeah, that's just a reference number that, that gives you an idea that to, that gauge reading is, is a reference number to what, you know, like I said, it gives me a mental picture in my head when I hear river stages out of Memphis, you know, anyway, a lot of them, but specifically Memphis is one that I kind of use as my uh, general guideline for the lower mess. What it's doing, you know, which, not just what stage it is, but which way it's, doing, you know, if it's steady, if it's uh, falling, if it's a rise, uh, stuff like that. So, anyway. Yeah, we're at definitely, it's extreme low. Don't get me wrong, it's extreme low. And, I, and it could fall back out again. Uh, I think we, 
maybe have a little bit of rain will hold it up so but it's still running reduced toes running lighter you know everything's loaded lighter and uh barges are loaded lighter and the toe sizes are smaller so it, it's uh it's a crimp on things you know this time of year is when harvest is so that's a, that kind of puts a crimp on things anyway it's a beautiful day Outside, watch him. Well, there you go, it's a little interesting. <laughs> She's got a little rattle to her. Uh, not bad for this old girl running full ahead. She's got a little shimmy to her. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it's been since they've had these wheels replaced, but usually a season or so, man, it, 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 wheels take a beat. Uh, but she's actually not too bad, man. Running 900 RPM. She got a little rattle to her, but like I said, she's a mid-70s Viking era boat. She's going to have a little, some little rattles to her. She's actually not too bad. She's not too bad at all. And then we're going right up here to city front. Right, running in through here. Get a break, get 
my hand in. Since I knew Quint pretty well, to hear uh, him call the name of his boat coming up behind us, it's always a little, a little odd. So here's a boat ramp. You can see a little bump right there. That's a boat ramp. It's a fleet. That's my radar. I still got to use the radar because <clears throat> I can see that stuff. I can see the boat ramp, and I know that's the fleet. And I know uh, I'm ahead of my tow, but see, I kind of guess where that fleet is in here because it obviously moves. <clears throat> they move that fleet or it barges in and off of it, and so it's bigger and smaller. And so. <laughs> Anyway, New Madrid Island right there. Up above it. Slowing her down to get stopped. Boat ramp right there. So that's what we're doing. Get down, slow down and stop here at the tower. and easy. We'll get a uh, we'll get stopped for tow work. See it once where the fleet's at right there. Up. Real nice and easy over to the bank. We'll lay in right in here. We're above the Alright, no problem. Let her ease in there. Madrid City Front. Tow work started. Right here, Brest and Boat Ramp. Got the Elizabeth E coming up. The Off and hold down wires and that's the 
you end up dropping a lot of this stuff here. Dropping a lot of it. Anyway. What we going on? See, we're laid in right here. Right here along the city front. Right above the boat ramp. So. Hometown buddy. Went to school with his brother, like I said it before. Went to school with Quinn's brother, Dakin. You know, we're classmates and um yeah. Me and him were besties growing up. And then uh when I moved to Paducah to be crew dispatcher for WKN, uh other one Quint had just <clears throat> Quint moved to Purdue. Quint and Daniel moved to Purdue. Good. Uh, about, I don't know, just a few months before we did, when Quint took the job as a board captain for Buck. But anyway, that's his namesake vessel coming by right there. The Quint and Craig Harris. Those parents well, AC and Norma, known them all my life also. Yeah, oh, sorry about that dude, hold on, I'm blind. Blind enough to blind there. <laughs> anyway, all right, pay attention to what I'm doing with you. Do a little toe work, they're new matter. 